window and there he goes with his toy like he did last week right i'm back from aldi it's that dark i've had to put my ring light on again behind my camera so it might look a bit bright so i do apologize about that i've got two full bags not got as much as last week but it's still like a quite a big shot now their special buys this week were not very good i'm pretty sure they were exactly the same as last week they hadn't got anything new in apart from they started getting like christmas biscuits in um crackers crisps stuff like that so yeah i've got a, i've got a couple of bits from the christmasy things but not to eat at christmas to eat now then yeah i don't feel great <clears throat> i feel a bit choked because of what time it is um that shopping trip was hard really really hard so it's two years to the day that i was like shopping and then i got the call from matthew about isabel so when i got to that that oil it wasn't in the same store but you know most aldi stores are the same layout and this one is exactly the same that's the one I was in before, because that's where I was. If you, you know, if you're new to this channel, that's where I was. That's where I found out I was at shopping. So yeah, it was pretty hard when I got to bread oil, which sounds ridiculous, but anyway. <clears throat> so putting a brave face on, I'm gonna get through this haul and then get some dinner one. So let's get through it. So first bag. <sighs> quite full let's start off with what i usually start off with which is the toilet roll the softest aloe vera, vera one i've got four because we have still got some rolls um that we marcus running for like a nine pack during the week because we ran out so just bought the four no doubt we'll run out again but hey ho bought me and Matthew a little treat some of the Maltese or truffles because these are like five or six pounds most places and these were three pounds 49 in Aldi so yeah because it's a bit of a crappy a weekend and next week so just something to cheer us up a little bit I've got some tunnock Caramel wafer bars. Um, I usually get Matthew the Tunnox tea cakes, but they were completely out of them. They're quite a lot of empty shelves, actually. I think they're just they're emptying them down so they can start putting the Christmas bits out. Um, I really fancy doing some sweet potato fries, so I got some sweet potatoes. So I'm going to be doing well, sweet potato wedges is what I did before so I'm going to do some sweet potato wedges this week got myself a little cottage pie I'm having tonight because Matthew's having steak or he might be having these I'll ask him what he wants in a momo um another thing is a lot of these dates they go off on the 26th can you see that there 26th of October which is Izzy's anniversary. So first anniversary is on Saturday, which is the date of the accident. She passed away on the 26th. So literally most dates, 26th, it was, it was annoying. Sorry, I didn't tell you what they were. These are the rich and creamy fish cakes um, from the gastro collection, which is just like the cottage pie. Um, they're really thick, look at that. I double the thickness of the other ones. It does say I'm new, so it's authentic salmon, smoked haddock, and Atlantic cod with a creamy cheddar cheese sauce encased in a sourdough bread crumb. So, yummy. <clears throat> they had these in the special buys. These are the Big Eat um, by the company Naked. Japanese style katsu curry with long grain rice. They're really nice, these ones are. 
So got just two of them. They were 99p each. Do you want to carry on doing your thing and then I'll carry on after? Yes. I was rudely interrupted by Marcus again. So let's carry on. So I've got some chicken wings because I got those maple wings last week and they didn't go down well. So I've just got some normal ones and I'll just put my own seasoning on them. Got some chicken thigh fillets, make a curry, box of tissues for the kitchen, for the noses. Got some of the ass wipes. I think these are the. I don't say aloe vera on them anymore. They say micellar water. I'm sure they used to say aloe vera, but they don't. Probably got absolutely no aloe vera in them, that's fine. I've got two fillet steaks. Probably just put one in the freezer. Cat's low on food, so. Everything's falling out of my bag got the cat some of the pouches the poultry ones in jelly got some canopa nut bars they were really low on chocolate and biscuits and stuff this week i've got another white cabbage just a little one i've got this massive lure pack 600 grams. I've never seen these ones before. Look at that. Oh, yeah. How much was that? 20 quid? No, it was it was five pounds from it, but you you had a bit of a hissy fit the other day, didn't you? About the butter. So five pounds thirty-five. Right, it doesn't seem to like nor pack, so didn't want to push his buttons again. Um I've got a tin of chunky tomatoes because I think I might still have a tin from last week. I don't think I used all of them. I just got the one. I've got a bigger pack of carrot fifty because I keep going for the 24p ones and they're tiny. So these were 45p for 1kg of carrots. So nice and big. Got some satsumas. It's that time of year where the satsumas come out. And these last three in here are for Izzy Wizzy. So I got her a squash, a green one, because I just thought that was really cute. And I got her a pumpkin. Now, just a large pumpkin. But that is not large. And I didn't want to get a large one. I just wanted a small one. So just put those next to each other like that. And then I'll get one of the big, big ones again from probably from Morrison's like we did last year. And write a name in it with the eyes like I did last year. Sorry about if you can hear the telly in the background. Matthew's being rude. And I also got Izzy this candle. Um, it's called Starlight. And I just thought... That's just perfect, just starlight. And it smells, it smells like rose. I'm sure it's got rose in it and it doesn't even say on it. Between rose and palma violets and Isabel absolutely love palma violets. So yeah, it smells amazing. And I'm pretty sure that will just fit in her lantern so got that one um still got one of these kind candles as well so still got that for her so, yeah that's that bag done so let's move on to the next one i'm just going to whack some of these in the fridge and then move on to the next one all right next bag and last bag is a really big one it's fun and very, very heavy. I tried to equal the bags out this week. That's why they're all mixed, like, like all different stuff, cold stuff and whatnot. On the top of here, I've got one of these toasty loaves again. I think these are really good and so cheap. How much are they? Let's have a quick look. 72p compared to the 
Warburton's one, which is £1.45, I think it is. I've got some large eggs. I'll save the receipt for last. Pack of Rebels. Two packs of the chicken instant noodles. I've got some bananas. There's another um, few bananas in there as well because I'm going to quite a lot of bananas. I've got the cat, the tasty sticks, turkey and lamb. I haven't had these in for a while, so I've got some of them. The dog likes them as well. I've got some baby button mushrooms. Running out of my day and night cream because Maffa uses it as well. So I went, they didn't have the, um, is it Rejuvenate? I think it's called. So I've gone back to the, you know, the Q10 one, anti wrinkle night cream and the anti wrinkle day cream with the SPF 20 in it. I think they're the ones that are like a white top. Right, so the night one's a blue top and the day one is a white top. Like that. So, got some of those. Put them in boxes. Um, so, the special guys, like I said, were like mostly Christmas stuff and they had some Halloween bits still left in there as well um, so I've got some of these specially selected beef wellington crinkle cut crisps you might like them I don't know if you'll like these ones these are the fi fiery pigs in blankets crinkle cut so he loves pigs in blankets and he loves spice so I mean, if he was listening, he probably would have come in here and got on, but he obviously can't hear me. Uh, mozzarella, also the date, 26th of October. I, that. I always look at the dates, that's why. I'd like to have a good date on it. I've got, I see, a toffee apple. So this, um, I'll take this up tomorrow to her. Um, I won't be going up at my usual time tomorrow because I've got a meeting, so... It'll be a bit later tomorrow, but yeah, got a lot as well. Uh, I've got two punnets of the wonky blueberries. They went down well last week, so with them. I've got some cookies and cream, little like sandwich ice cream things. And I'll be getting another ice cream at the bottom. Some milk chocolate OTs, which is quite popular. Um, I've got these to try the chilled pan fried potatoes with smoked ham. Oh, they sounded really nice, so I'm going to try. My mum got them last week, she said they were really nice. Um, I got a Bramley apple pie. I thought we could have this over the weekend because this is one of Izzy's favourite dessert is apple pie so we'll have like apple pie and cream or go get some ice cream to go with it or custard or whatever got some of that um these i haven't seen these before these are the garlic and herb breaded king prawns 26th of october but yeah they look pretty nice so some of those because um, I'm making a curry this week, um, I've got some more of the onion bargies. These are absolutely delicious. 26th of October again. Um, I've got a cauliflower to go with the Sunday lunch. I'm thinking of doing a cauliflower cheese because I haven't done one of them for ages. There's my other load of bananas. got an Almly double cream it didn't have normal double cream now every time I get this I think of Brenda my little subscriber that's from America and she always goes on about the 
the foil lid because I think in America they've, they've got like proper lids on theirs, which we used to have. We used to have the plastic lid. Now they just give you the foil one. So yeah, they 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 are a bit of a spill hazard. And I have actually spilled one of these in the fridge before and dropped it out of the fridge and went all over the floor, which is so annoying. But yeah, every time I see these now and pick these up, I think of you, Brenda. And I know you're watching. Um, I've got a massive box of Yorkshire tea because I've just put the last of the massive box of Yorkshire tea in the little tea, what do you call it, a tea pot, it's not a teapot, it's a pot that holds tea bags, what do you call the, the tea and the, and the coffee canisters? tea canister i've just i've just filled it up so i've bought a, a fresh box they're quite a good price and they're 4.99 for that massive box um 4.49 bags i've got a big jar of the um owl, owl cafe time gold roast that's a really good price as well. I think that's like two pounds, something or three pounds. That was two thirty nine. That massive jar. Got a bottle of bleach. I've got a big bottle of Coca Cola, and they didn't have that size in the fifty eight row, so I got one of the big big bowls of the coke zero i'm really not room i've just had to pop that on the floor and the last thing in this bag is my black currant squash it's just like my beaner so a lot of these things actually where's me for ice cream did i pay for two ice creams so strange i bought the um the other cookie ones that i bought last week as well but he hasn't put them through no for facts i put them on together i remember doing it but anyway i need to get these in the freezer so i'm gonna have to love yours and leave yours and feed my because he's getting very hungry now and i'm getting hungry and i need a drink so i'm gonna go so I hope everyone is doing absolutely wonderful and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. I just realised as I was putting everything away, I forgot to tell you how much it cost. Uh, definitely not as expensive as last week. Last week was over £150. This week it's £91.80. So, yeah, I've just sorted Rocky's dinner out um this is behind the scenes with my ring light I'm not stuck in there so yeah thanks for watching bye